The demolition of structures in Kano State has continued to generate more reactions from civil society groups. As one of them, the Good Governance and Change Initiative is asking Governor Abiy Yusuf to stop the ongoing demolition of structures in the metropolis and invite the affected investors and individuals for an amicable resolution. Well, addressing a press conference in Abuja, the national uh, coordinator of the group, Opoku Ogeni, threatened to sue the governor if nothing is done uh, to address what it calls uh, the indiscriminate demolition and waste of public funds. Expressed disappointment in the current leadership of the new Nigeria People's Party, that's the NNPP, in Kano State, and wonders why a government will start the demolition of structures within a week of assumption of office. We have watched with keen interest the level of destruction done in Kano Metropolis, including the loss of over 20 lives of innocent Nigerians who died during the process of the unlawful demolition of property in the state. The government claimed that Two persons died, but our team, who were in Kano and on, on ground, said that over 20 persons have died, which is a serious concern for the human rights community. More worrisome is the trend of successful governors destroying legacies of the previous administration in a way to slight the ago governor, either based on hatred or fear of popularity among others. It is a sad era in the history of Kano State where a government saddled with the responsibility of protecting lives and property is the one demolishing structures legally built by citizens and investors with their hard-earned resources, thereby inflicting pains on the people. Well, we have the gentleman that you just saw there, the National Coordinator, Good Governance and Change Initiative, Opoku Ogeni. He's with us in the studio to speak on the developments in Kano State. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on this night tonight. Well, thank you for coming. Well, in response to reactions, of course, people would react definitely to mm. demolitions of, you know, roundabouts, historical monuments, and what have you in, in Kano State, or anywhere for that matter. But the government is saying that these demolitions are going on and have to go ahead in the interest of the citizenry. And, you know, because this, uh, some of these monuments or uh, structures actually are uh, in the way of uh, you know uh, free movement of traffic for example and actually cause some kind of security uh, breach if not addressed thank you very much mm. i think uh, we need a constitutional review in the country and to empower the electoral body to also include sanitary tests on every candidate of political parties before they emerge because what is happening in Kano is as good as madness. A governor who assumes office, within six days of assumption of office, you are demolishing structures. So what are you relying on? It is a clear case of political witch hunt, which is now affecting the whole country. I want to say here, very clear, that Governor Abba Yusuf has failed the people of Kano State. And as we speak, even his supporters are no longer proud of him. How can you demolish structures legally built, acquired and built by citizens? I want you to understand this. Mm -hmm. There was a lady who came all the way from abroad to this country, spent 160 million naira to build that roundabout in commemoration of 50 years anniversary of Kano State. The United States is celebrating her as we speak. The French is celebrating her. The United Kingdom is celebrating her. And this present governor has demolished the structure. As we speak, on the ground that there is a sign that looks like cross, which may be like a sign of Christian religion. Even Islamically, Christians are not infidels. Are you with me? Christians are not infidels. Well, I hope you're not um, saying there are religious undertones to what. No, there is no even religious undertone. Right. Because Prophet Muhammad, uh, Prophet Muhammad, S.A.W., 
said very clear that Christians are not infidels. Before he professed Islam, he said, he even quoted prophet Isa, which is Jesus Christ, that which says that after me there will be another prophet that will be greater than myself. Oh, cool. let's, in the let's, Bible, let's, listen, uh, in the Bible, it is said that if you believe in me, the work I do shall you do. Greater work shall you do also. So Islamically, it is believed that there will be another prophet after prophet Isa, which is Jesus Christ. Yeah, and how, prophet Muhammad how prophet that, Islam. How does that right? factor into what the discussion is? No, so the discussion is... The complaint is, is that the governor, the new governor, barely one week in office, has been demolishing some structures, including that roundabout uh, that, you know, we've been showing there. Uh, Yes. You want to stay around that so that you. Yes, you yes. so I am so trying to clear you on the fact that you right. say whether it's going to, uh, uh, how can I say, trigger is uh, what to call religious. No, 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 no my point, my point. No, 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 I, I yes. need to clarify this. Yes. So sorry. I need to apologize for that. Okay. My point was I hope you're not reading any religious on the There is no religious meaning. To the governor's actions. There is no religious meaning. Right. And that is why I've cleared you about the position of the mm. prophet Muhammad SAW even though I'm not a Muslim oh, okay, I'm telling you this, got this got that, got that. Oh, hang on hang on there oh, okay, we got mm. that uh, clearly but then what we're trying to do is not to veer off the main subject mm -hmm. on the one hand on the other hand uh, let's let's put things in perspective we know you you hurt we know you you, yeah. you feel offended we appreciate we we acknowledge your feelings your feelings are valid however it's, it's difficult to, to assume that a governor would come into office and then start off on the wrong foot deliberately. Let, let's, yeah. uh, maybe we should um, give some benefit of the doubt. Why do you think that he's on a mission to politically witch hunt some people? It is very clear because a governor who came into office within six days and ordered demolition of structures, not individual structures, Structures that had to contribute to the economy of the state. Are you sure they were not served any notice before the demolition? Even if you are served notice, six days in office is not enough for this demolition. The governor is just three weeks in office, mind you, just three weeks in office today. And they have demolished structures worth over 206 billion era. And let me tell you this the, the Daola Hotel that was demolished, 90 room, over 10 billion era investment. People went to the bank, borrowed money, and invested in Kano State. The governor has come and demolished it. Now, there is something the government said. The governor said that the land were given to it or allocated to individuals mm -hmm. illegally by the previous administration. Mm -hmm. Now, the Land Use Act says that every land belongs to government, individual or no land. It is the government that can allocate land to individuals. Or corporate bodies government had allocated this land money has been invested structures built shop like 90 90 shop in the in the, the story building the, mm -hmm. that was demolished and you are saying that government allocated this land illegally governor ganduje is no longer a governor he has no immunity anymore if you feel that ganduje's administration has done any wrong why not invite him to answer questions and thereafter, charge him to court if he's culpable. Why do you make the, uh, the, the citizens, I am becoming emotional, why do you make citizens to pay for actions of failure of government? Absolutely. People came all yeah. the way from China to acquire these properties, land, invested money. You have work abroad, you want to invest at home. And they will come back and destroy those structures. Right. Very quickly, before we let you go, how would you react to the state government's, you know, uh, statement that it intends to utilize uh, debris uh, from demolitions for the rehabilitation of the ancient uh, city walls of Kano? It is. It is. How hmm. can I use it? Let me not use. I don't want. I want. I'm trying to control my word. Right. During the time of Pan Kosa as governor, that same monument they are talking about. Hmm. Governor Kwan Kwaso then allocated this land up to two third to his cronies. As we speak, Atiku Abubakar's campaign office is located right in the monument. This, these are strong allegations. No, it's not allegation. It is there. Go to Kano and confirm. Atiku Abubakar's campaign office is there because his house is there. Mm. Kwan Kwaso allocated this plot to people up to two third. 
the remaining part became a criminal hideout where illicit activities were taking place. Governor Gaduje, or former Governor Gaduje, came in and ensured that the place is utilized. Structures were built, shops were built, investment were made, and you just came in. Even if you want to demolish this structure, it is not six days. Take it from me. Six days is too short we to do understand. study and understand what is happening in Kano State. We do I want to say this. Yes, I want please. to say this. That if President Bola Tinubu do not call Governor Abba Yusuf to order, anarchy is about to take place. Kano is highly populated. It's the most populated city in the country today. If there is a crisis in Kano, it will affect every part of the country. We, I am we, trying to avoid crisis. Comrade, and that comrade. is why we are out. Right. We, we, we must we call from now. Yusuf Abba to order. Great. And we'll have to leave it there. We understand how emotional this can be, definitely. Anyone hearing this would be definitely heartbroken. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the Kano State uh, Governor, the new Governor, Abba Yusuf, uh, would want to respond to these people and give them some kind of uh, comfort that the intentions are not uh, ill, you know, uh, ill-timed or ill uh, delivered, for, I mean, for want of a better uh, expression, really. We'll have to live with their comrade, Opoku Ogei. Thank you so much for joining us. And Thank we you hope very much. you will find uh, some kind of resolution to this. Thank you.